Anthony said, man, uh, I've been dealt blows below the belt, you know, and uh, first of all, it was the, 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 la the language that I sang in. It didn't really bring me the fortune that uh, one expects, you know, like when you look at uh, these other people that sing in the widely known languages, you know, they get a better share of the profits and all. So it's partly why I left music because... Legends are not mourned. Legends are not mourned. They're celebrated. Today is a no. Yesterday was a bad day. Can I say a bad day? Nah, it's not a bad day. It's a day that we gotta celebrate. King Cow was promoted to heaven. I don't wanna be sad. I don't wanna be sad. I wanna be sad. This is Rep Case episode. 38 dedicated to King Calvin, the Louvre boy. It's sad news. It came to on um, Sunday morning. We lost uh, we lost Kelvin, the Blawai rapper, City of Kings, multiple award winner, uh, activist, born 15 December 1984. Yeah, a Sagittarius. Promoted to heaven, promoted to a better place. 25 October 2020. It's been, it's been, it's been, it's been a, a, an eventful year from COVID to the passing of Skara. Now we said news. Nah, it's not sad news. The great news that this nigga has been promoted to heaven. Beautiful spirit, beautiful spirit. Kelvin was like, definition of a rapper, a rap star. And I want to tell you my memories, my first uh, memory with Kelvin. I got to know this nigga when I recorded um, Baby Ngakola. I don't know if I pronounced that shit, the remix with Jeezy. Like some years back, I think four, four, three, four, five years back. That's when I got to know Kelvin. I was like, this dope. Uh, this kid is dope. No. He's not a kid. That's what's most said about it. He's my age. I'm turning 36 in November, so I know how it feels. And I know how it feels. And I know how it feels. I know how it feels. Like I was saying, I see pop cats are very smart people. Writing bars, 16 bars of logic sense is not an easy thing. And you can tell that by the way this nigga moved. He treated himself like a fucking brand. The way he moved, he moved like a star. He could have been anything in the world, but he decided to dedicate his life to making hip hop music. And that's what Chagafa Cheetah from the, if you check out Rap Case. And I'm proud to say, us as Red Nation, we've been covering this nigga ever since last year. I salute you, King Kelvin, always, and I'll rap your name and we'll keep your name alive. Why? Because you're the first. Uh, A-list award-winning rapper that acknowledged uh, rap case. You subscribed and you were liking our shit. You were checking up on our shit. If you check out like the first like three, four, five uh, rap case, we did top five DOA, CDO Kings. Um, Kelvin was like the first rapper to like headline rap case and got us like over 50 views, no problem. That's how I know this nigga's talented. Yeah, getting into the details how he died. Uh, it's sad, man. He's coming from a game, uh, watching soccer uh, at a cricket club and uh, Blawayu. Yeah, Blawayu and Nganem. Girlfriend, Yaki. Anzarua, hit and run. I fucking hit and run. How can somebody do that? What is it? How can somebody do that? bump into somebody like you hit somebody with a car and you just drive off i'm not sure i want to talk about uh, the nasty stuff uh, it's, uh, that's not what we're about we're about celebrating life and this nigga was an amazing person i never got to meet kelvin but we've been in the same environment like twice he came to um this other show i did with sister flame like back in the day uh Jesus, but I was quite sure I paid the show was over, and we never got to like chill or take pictures or anything. The second time I got to meet him was like when we were like, um, uh, damn, I'm 
I'm saying that not like that now. Whiskey, the whiskey performers, uh, the first time whiskey came to Zimbabwe and he didn't perform, and we didn't get to chill. I don't know, Chicha but uh, judging from the reaction, uh, he gave us on um, internet like accepting us as a rapper, acceptance in Zimbabwe. Uh, in Unis, especially in Arara, Arara rappers don't accept nothing crazy. But Kelvin, all the way from the city of King, was the first nigga to subscribe. Now we are on uh, six, nine hundred and something subscribers. Uh, I think Kelvin subscribed on Red Nation Live when we were about two hundred and something. He was liking, checking us up, and I never disrespected the King or anything crazy. I saw his art improving as a person. We are from the music, and if you check out like episode 37 of Rap Case, you made peace with Sky's FM. Think about the beef between Sky's FM, uh, a radio station based in Hawaii, because yeah, you know how it is. It's business. It's never all roses and shit. And uh, if you check out Rap Case again, yeah, actually, like I always started with Sky's FM, we covered it. And it's an honor for us as Rap Case Red Nation Live to have covered like with the, the squashing of the beef, the moving on, the maturity. Was, uh, Kelvin was 35. And a boy from Luveva, I've never been to Blawayo. And I had a feeling, like if you check out, I had a feeling if you've been checking out uh, the special we're doing, the Pog Zimmy Pop Awards at 10. I had a feeling the awards were going to be held in Blawayo. So I wanted to hit Blawayo and he didn't kick it with the niggas, right? And from my um, assumption and from my knowledge, Luverde is ghetto. Right? Kelvin was blessed uh, with a daughter. I got a baby daddy. Beautiful daughter. And most niggas, I always emphasize on this, and mo when most niggas are blessed with like... Uh, a kid, a child, they retired from hip hop, but Kelvin didn't stop. He actually went hard. I saw, I, I saw this nigga performing once at the whiskey show here at Sky, I got Sky, and he was in Harare. He came through with a uh, with a set nigga. He had dancers, costumes, and everything. His set was on point. Like I told you, we celebrated the life of a rapster. I never got to meet the guy, and it's very sad on my side, but I got to watch him perform. I got to listen to his music. He was the first nigga to collaborate with uh, Casper Invest in Zimbabwe. When Casper, way before Casper, our Casper marbles were like a Casper without the ponytail. Casper, I got to recognize a uh, Kelvin from Blawai. They did a song together. And he also collaborated with Giga the Main. Amazing. He was into making moves. And at a time we to uh Blawayo, people were saying that Blawayo is not acknowledged as rappers, we're not winning awards in pure ways, but and on the time like putting in work, but I was not budging the awards, the Zimi Pop Awards were not given like credit to pure Y. I need to. That's when uh, he passed the torch to Kelvin. And Kelvin came through and swept the Zimbabwe Pop Awards. He won the awards. He performed at the Namas. He made big, big records. This year, uh, this year he was on point, my nigga. I think he's got uh, uh, like two projects. Uh, I listened to uh, his most recent take called The 80s Baby. It's an 80s baby. That shit is on point. It sounds like uh, a type Jesus, uh, 400 bars and running type. He's got a DJ. He's got one long song. And DJs on the beginning. He's dropping bars and he's not stopping. That shit was amazing. That shows you what uh, type of person Kelvin was. He didn't feel offended by what Jesus did with the 400 bars and running. That's what Junita uh, Hip Hop. I got inspired. I can actually do that and put a female DJ in and actually be tighter on the concept. Amazing. So today, we're celebrating the life of King Cal.
Calvin the Viva boy. Uh, we're gonna be like covering this 38 episode 38 rap case. It's gonna go all the way up to 38.5678 as long as it takes us to say goodbye to this icon. I'm my Baxter Don and yeah. Hip hop heads, you're amazing. You're amazing. The reaction on social network, the pictures, the roses, the acknowledgement. Kelvin, one of his last songs was um, Finn Must Die. Hey, JB, you do that much like hip hop and not get paid and not get the actual things, right? And as soon as you have me, it's, uh, you start. Uh, Doubting yourself, questioning yourself, the fans, which are you doing this for the right reasons? You are in your mid thirties and hip hop is not being taken serious. You listen to this song, V Must Die. He had questions, but he didn't give up. He kept at it. He improved as a person. And what's sad about this is what you never like. We never give our stars roses when they are alive for them to smell them. Amazing. After, after, after Rafa, we come through with the roses, like love, pictures, and everything. No judging um, anybody. Do what you gotta do. But Shadun Jack is a, this nigga was a fucking star, the reaction. And the nigga that did this, you robbed us. You robbed us. I'm a Baxter Don. This is rap case. We're not even supposed to shoot this. But legends need to be celebrated. Like I said, legends are not mourned. They're celebrated. So the king, Calvin. Bleh. Yeah.